that's like all of her people being like, no, it's not your story, even though you was both there. Oh. You was both there together. You was both in a situation, but that's giving power over someone and putting someone on a pedestal saying, oh no, one person can be quiet, but kind of tell their tr that story, but the other person can't, and that's not fair. Yeah. Roadman, obviously I know that you had a reason with Shen and obviously you had a good talk and that. Do you think, looking back, that you was a bit too extreme by calling it the B word? Right, listen, I'm going to say this to everybody, man. If you're sensitive over the B word, get off TikTok, man. No, but just just in the terms no, no, of, listen, you don't, without, wait, without one minute, bro, answer, one minute, one minute, bro. Obviously, you don't really know her like that, and it, and it just, obviously, even me, I was a bit like, raw, like, you've gone, like, full in on her. You get me? No, nah, so the thing is, is with me is, and I said the same thing to Shen, yeah? So this is, like, look, take a look on my page, yeah? Listen to how I speak, you get me? Yeah? Like... I speak like this on a regular and I said the same thing to Shen. Shen was my friend, yeah? And she came out of the house and her hair wasn't dead and she looked rough. Guess what I would say? I would turn around and say, raggedy this. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Um, in this situation, listen, it's, I, I never meant to for well, nah, you know what, right? I seen what I seen and it triggered it in me. I'm a dad still. You get what I mean? And Shen did post that video and she did, she hit the nail on the head how I felt about the situation. There's certain things that I see uh, and denying access for one, yeah, is one of the things that really triggers me as a dad, yeah? Like, and and I know how hard it is for some people who are good parents, yeah, just to fight for do, sing, do things and all this. Now, in typical TikTok fashion, everybody jumped on it, all the fucking little daytime fucking speakers, do you get what I mean? And, and everybody was on it. And I also listened to the video of what I said at the end. A lot of the fucking raggedy bitch was also with the other people who were sitting there and using it as gossip or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, listen, I speak the way I speak. I'm not, this is, it's hard, yeah, without making me look like a prick, yeah, because it is what it is. Now, you I know mean, what, bro? It's not even a policing thing because I know what your delivery is, bro. Do you know what I mean? I know, like, what you would see as banter, though. you got to understand it might be offensive to the person. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because personally, she ain't done nothing to you. Yeah, you get me? Do we know? Yeah, nah, do we know that that I hear that. No, no, I hear that. Like. I hear that. But each one of these people, for me, yeah, they pop up and they're like characters and it's no different. Yeah? Like... Look, I'm a firm believer with what I said to Shen, yeah? Shen, Shen messaged me, yeah? and she was like, I'm really, really sorry that I called you the cunt after we had a conversation, yeah? And I, and I said to Shen nicely, and I laughed, and I was like, listen, it was cute, man. You spell out C-U-N-T, yeah? Like, I'm not opposed to people having opinions and saying what they want to say about me, this, that, and the other, yeah? Me using particular language, um, and me standing in her face and, and giving the same energy stood there and doing that in her, it's a video. I don't take this ser shit serious like everybody else. Do you know what I mean? Can I just say, yeah. like, as well, on the devil's advocate as well, guys, that even though she's upset and stuff, the same way we all, as adults, especially if it's about, like, children hold responsibility, whether you come on upset or not, if you're coming onto a big public platform and you're doing something so public, I know that obviously you want the love and support, but that also comes with backlash and everyone has to understand that as mm -hmm. adults that sign onto this app, that are like, you know, if you're a sane adult and you want to talk your story on here, you, everyone knows it comes with that, like... People don't need to, do you know what I mean? If she's not fighting a corner like that and so much, you have to expect it. It comes with that, unfortunately. Every single person, whether you're a bloody creator, whether you live stream, whether you're in the comments, everyone, if you've got into a situation or an argument, everyone knows what the situation, do you know what I mean? Like, it comes Where's with the backlash. Like, it's not up to everyone. Like, everyone has opinions. And unfortunately, when you put it out in the public, it's going to happen. You just have to make sure that she's safeguarded enough if you care about her to make sure it don't get to her if you actually care about her and not just the gossip guys. Where's the um, denied access come from? Do you know what? I just, she's never denied access. I've no, no, I've seen the video, i seen the video out, right? Yeah, I've seen a video on a clip that was posted. I'll go find it, yeah? And it, I understand it, yeah? But it's, it's so the clip that i seen was saying, yeah, that now at this stage that she would deny access. And I understand, yeah, what people, so this is one of them split things where half people are going, well, yeah, she's right for that. After all of this that's gone on, after him not speaking to her, blah, 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 right? And I hear all that, yeah, and I do hear all that, yeah, but, like, in the politest way, right, in the politest way, yeah, I don't care about this shit enough, yeah? And I made a video in the same way that, like, I made a video on everybody, everybody. Yeah. There is not, this isn't a particular, oh, I've gone for this particular girl. Let's, let's be realistic and go and look at every single bit of my content. 
yeah i do this on a regular i seen the shit i seen it look bouquet i seen a few clips i don't live on tiktok do you get what i'm saying yeah i'm more than open to have a conversation with people who don't who like so somebody's just written in the comments then right oh so you're normalizing calling people bitches not right first and foremost my content is what my content is yeah and i purposely go out of my way to be as disrespectful as possible yeah and 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 that is what i do but you've heard the first 10 seconds of the video of me calling somebody a raggedy bitch right now the behavior to me regardless to what you all think in the comments the behavior to me is raggedy yeah talking about money produce like fucking dishing all your laundry online fucking sitting there cussing people out going back and forth you might not understand the word but to me that's raggedy yeah oh. and and standing there and publicly fucking doing all this dirt that's raggedy so you might not like what i fucking said yeah but i'm not it's like i'm talking about the behavior characteristics i'm not attacking her personally do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm attacking the characteristics of what I am seeing online, which is the same thing that I do with absolutely every single person. So no, I'm not normalizing calling women bitches. I'm calling bitch behavior. I'm calling raggedy behavior. Yeah, and to the people who struggle to define the difference between what it is that I'm saying, that yeah. ain't my fucking problem. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. I, I I feel that like like you say, um, I even wrote I even wrote this on your on your post. I said that she could have dealt with it differently. Yeah. Um, however, obviously, we we all, we we don't all know, you know, like the behind the scenes kind of you know what dealings of what's gone on, whether or not she has approached them or any of them. Like nobody knows that. This is why it's probably vital for it for Tyrone to really come out because there's going to be a lot of. Um, a lot of people speaking on it, obviously, because it's a big thing. Just like you now, people just love drama and business, isn't it? Like people are going to speak on it, but it would. I think for him, before people start getting carried away with you know allegations and he this this might have happened, that might have happened. He could have just gave a blanket statement and said, "Well, just sent that man. You don't need to fucking do that." Yeah. <laughs> Just, just, so, just something to let everybody know, like it's been handled. Like. You know what it is. I get what you're saying, Roger, but this is the thing. Everyone is so in a in a judgmental, and as much as oh. we hate to admit it, everyone's like it, it moves like judge and jury. It moves. Like, it's not even Jerry McCall. It's giving. It's giving Maury. It's giving Ricky. It's <laughs> giving Jerry. Jerry. Because how we do we know? Like, because there's a million examples. How do we know that like, if he is involved or is not involved, or he knows that like, she's not got severe mental health so he knows that like, going back and forth with the internet is going to harm her how do we know that like, he's like, got legal advice to help that like, we don't know a single thing do you yeah. know what i mean like we know nothing well, and as much as like that's people say like oh that... she shouldn't have said this she shouldn't have said that we can't really all say that when we're all sat here talking about the same thing can i can i, can I say something though yeah lisa i was in the live yeah and the only like criticism that i had towards her is that the, the story was changing quite a lot and i don't know if it's because she felt agitated or just had because she just had so so many people coming for her but it was like one minute that she did mention that she had, had contact the family and then one of her friends had come up from their area and she was saying you know well you should contact the parent etc and she was kind of like oh that would be like that's going to be like the last resort mm -hmm. and i remember everybody's thinking in the comments and me in the comments thinking her but i'm sure you've already said that you've reached out to the family they haven't got back to you this is the reason why you're coming on the app so it's just one of them any because it is a big story and there's going to be so many eyes on it you just need yeah. to make sure that what and you're it, saying you stick into that you get me and, it, and irrelevant of like of it all at like, end of the day let's be real we're all just normal people on this app like it, regardless even tyrone like he, he's just a normal guy he's obviously just got a big following now to get more get what i'm saying mm -hmm. but like so you can't really expect people to handle things the way you know, I did in an ideal world how we should all handle things or how it should be handled out in public. Sometimes you lose your head or you, you, you come on live and you say something you don't mean to say and you're like, fuck, now I'm in hot water. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just don't handle things the right it's way. I'm not, I promise you, someone who's dealt with a, like, so I wouldn't say. Um, so, so like I say, like, people just need to remember that we're all, we're all normal people out here. And obviously, She's handled it, handled it the wrong way, like, like in, in hindsight, and I bet she knows that now. Do you get what I'm saying? But it, now she's she's already there. She's already in deep water, so now she has to just handle it the way it's 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 been across. In the same way, it's probably Tyrone's thinking, "I wish I'd addressed this at the start." 
or he may not even be thinking that, but I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it just depends on like, you know, how how things move in the first place. But end of the day, I'm sure the situation will get will get get dealt with because he doesn't strike me as a man that doesn't want to be interested in his in his youth. Do you know what I mean? Can, so, I, can I can I say another thing as well that a lot of people don't seem to be taking into account, right? So we all do this TikTok shit, yeah. But Tyrone does that TikTok shit. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. And let's be real, right? You see how much, how many events he's got, the drinks he's sponsoring, all the brand deals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you think for one second that his management hasn't told him to shut the fuck up while they yeah. fucking gather everything up, yeah. Like this is this is a girl who has got a few thousand followers, and then this is a guy whose career is online. Yeah, and, and and a lot of people, I said this to, to Shen yesterday, right? That at the end of the day, his income, his mortgage, his kids living, his money that he makes, the money that, that people want to get their hands on, yeah? All of that has to be protected in a certain way. Yeah, right? facts. And, and at the end of the day, when you're up there and you're making that kind of money, yeah, you have got people over the top of you saying, right, listen, shut the fuck up right now. Yeah? yeah, and that and that's not Absolutely. that's not him turning around and doing. He's doing as he's told because he gets paid in yeah. that aspect under a management thing. And everybody's like, "Well, Tyrone's not talking quick enough." Yeah, who the fuck are any of you? Yeah, like who are any of you? If the guy didn't want to talk about it, people can judge from a distance, and that's fine. Yeah, but he is his own man. But it won't be that. Look at the level he's at. He's making yeah. music. He's doing the football charities. He's doing the fucking, the drink sponsorships, the brand deals, blah, blah, blah. There's so many people making money Fact. and himself, yeah, that the money, whether you like it or not, or whether you think it's morally correct or not, the money has to be protected for everybody's wages. Yeah. yeah? So right now, this will be being handled in a way that is realistic for somebody on that level. Like, cause everybody's saying, or oh, he's protected cause he's on that level. But no, this is his job and this is what he yeah. does. Yeah, people can say, oh, Roadman's riding his nuts. Listen, I'm aiming for the same shit, bro. I'm aiming to be fucking- so Why does he have to, the same respectfully, because you know I'm on everyone's side, that's, you know, whoever's do what they want to do. But the same way everyone's riding for the girl, she's like, if, like I said, it's her right if it's her story. But the same way you guys are saying, if she wants to come on the app and deal with it that way, she can. Respectfully, if he wants to deal with it, regardless of who you believe is right or wrong, especially right now when we don't actually know, he can deal with it in whatever way he deems fit right now. Like it's actually, it's, it's nothing to do with any of you guys, do you understand? It's how they deal with it, it's how they deal with it. If you want to be on one side or the other, all you can do is like support that person without That's being it, toxic yeah, no, no, and no, having no. your overall opinion or getting yourself involved and getting your personal feelings involved. Support whoever you want to support. That's absolutely fine. But you can't get a one person for wanting to deal with it privately if one wants to deal with it loudly. Like, let people deal with it how they want to deal with it when it's their two situation. Like, it's crazy to me. Obviously, I, f I think the big the biggest thing that people want to know is, did he, did he know about the kid for one? Two, did he want anything, did he want anything to do with it? And... And free if she let him have anything to do with it. I think that's what obviously everybody wants to know, because then it then it decides what kind of person he is. Do you get what I'm saying? And decides what person she is. You can do is have not speculation, have conversation, yeah. but you can't have judgment. Some people are having heavy judgment for other people's opinions. Yeah, no, My facts. thing is out there on the app, whether people like it or not. Someone made a decision that is maybe part of it or not to bring something on the app so it's public. People are going to have opinions. You can't get people down for that. But what people can't do is make people and force people to feel a type of way. It's literally theirs to his business to understand if yeah. you don't want to talk about it he's a grown man and it's his situation he don't have to talk about it on the app whether, no, it's, his, but, whether it's his brand or not he's also just had a baby and he's also got another woman who he's probably wanting to protect as much as he can her feelings also involved but you understand? No, so, as much as she wants to scream and shout she's like you know what i mean the baby's older now if she wants to talk about it and scream about it the other woman let her if it's true if it's not know, then page i think the i think the problem is is that when it concerns a child people want to see the right thing being done by a child don't they do you know so i guess that's why of people course, are going to have emotion listen this right i understand it yeah because i look at it right it's a, a it's a bit of a tism yeah um yeah. i look at the shit right and i see exactly how it's split and i'm not stupid yeah and there's certain people who have been offended by what i've said like shen for instance yeah who I went and spoke to you personally, right? And explained that, that uh, listen, this is just the language I, I use, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And, and the, but this, it's 
triggering to a lot of people and I understand yeah. it because there is a lot of women who have been through similar experiences. Yeah. There's a lot of people who feel like I got like this as well. So yeah, I can relate to it and there's a big support and there's a wave behind it. Yeah. And I understand it, right? Listen, I'm not fucking a dickhead and I'm not an idiot. I get it. Yeah. The people I make fun of and argue back with are the people who are just spinning a mad ass narrative. Yeah, yeah, Roadman's abusive. Roadman's abusive. Right. Listen, if you want to run that narrative, I'll play with you in the comments. Yeah. I just mess about. I'm not even taking you serious, yeah, because it's not a realistic thing. But in this situation with all of these people, if somebody is coming and they're like, no, this is actually emotionally triggering me, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, right, okay, so then look at the situation differently, right? Yeah. But at the same sense, the same way we have to look at it from her perspective and the way it's triggering other women, I'm a fucking guy. I'm not a woman, yeah? Do you get what I'm saying? So to me, the trigger and the emotion that sticks with it is the not being able to see the kid, is mm. the fucking looking for money. Da, 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 da. These are all relative to me, right? Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean I don't know the facts, yeah? But I know that when I see certain things, there's certain things that emotionally trigger to me. And that's mm. why me and Shem were cool by the end of the conversation because she explained that from a female's perspective, yeah? And then, I explained it from a male's perspective. And then as she said in a video, like we're both grown-ups, what people need to realize in this app is, yeah, it's okay to be fucking wrong. I never claim that I'm fucking right all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah for real. But my language, listen, if y'all think you're gonna PG me and TikTok me and make me a character for your benefit, you can fuck off. Yeah. yeah, you want real. This is obviously me. not seeing your content a lot. No, right? it's just it's not even that with it. It's like, look, yeah, I'm not going to come to the app and be a fake guy. No, but I mean, yeah. that's how you talk. Like your language, how you talk. Yeah. Everyone knows you're not. Everyone knows you're not abusive. You ride. I promise you now. Like when there's been no men, I promise you around certain women, right? Yeah. Like it's these lot in the box, like especially like, obviously like people that you weren't around that time. But Roadman and NJ, you do you know what I mean? R riding for us properly, like it's not an abusive thing. Like people's content is different content, and how people talk. If you don't like it and you actually are that offended, all you have to do, my loves, is click oh. off. Because the same way you moaning about how he's talking and his opinion is the same way you're putting an opinion in the comments towards him. You're getting aggy over a man over something that none of us actually know if it's true or not. Do you understand? It's all very hypocritical if you look at it. So yeah, you can't really get at him for talking in a certain way, especially when that's his content. If you don't like it, don't watch him. And on top of it, look at the company I keep. Let's be real, yeah? Do you think the people that are in these boxes that are around me, yeah, just like I walked into this box, yeah, NJ didn't sit there and go, Roadman, you're the best. NJ went, do you think you went a bit too far? Because I looked at it like this. You know what we do over here, unlike the other groups, we check each other, yeah? Mm. And that's and that's, and that's that's the Mother. thing. Yeah, when we come to it, when T was going through what T was going through, there was conversations. Yeah, my inbox is open to any of these people. Some of y'all got me on WhatsApp. Yeah, y'all think I'm doing too much. Y'all message me and be like, bro, you're doing too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's and that's the difference. Don't people think I'm out here and I'm just gonna roast you because you've had an opinion that I don't like? Listen, that's how we learn and that's how we grow. Yeah, you know, you know the maddest thing is though, you know, like about that is like. People are quick to, to, to jump on that, yeah, and say, oh, yeah, you're calling her a bitch, da 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 da, da. But there's people on here who still follow these people, you know, like mm -hmm. Evil Queen and all them, yeah, and she's being racist and saying the maddest stuff, yeah, calling Tyrone mad shit, and they still follow to, like, right. point, to, to right. hear what I'm saying. It's like people right. picking right. when they want to, you know, jump on the bandwagon. No, nah, hundred, hundred. Say it louder. But listen, uh, like I say, in this, uh, like, I, to be honest with you, like, this is no disrespect to the four hundred people in there. I always forget about the comments. I want to know what my peoples think about what I've been doing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love to say, this is why everyone hates me. They say that. I messaged something in the comment and you ignored it when you're when you're having a conversation. You, you hey, focused on that, isn't it? The task at hand. No, oh, no, do you know what it was? Yeah, do you know what it was, right? Last night I was being a dick, right? So it was hella plain. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hella, hella plain, right? And everybody was commenting. <laughs> and they were writing the maddest shit, yeah. And I was just like, oh, oh. 
<laughs> and it was just being an absolute asshole. And then I knew when I woke up this morning that people was going to be like, oh, Roman. Like, look, the thing is, it is, is I have relationships with the people I have relationships with. I put my opinion out there. And like I say, I don't use TikTok like the rest of them. I made that video and I didn't check the comments till the afternoon and people was going mad. <laughs> yeah. so that's what I mean. All of us up there, it's just like a chat. I'm not going to lie. I was sitting there doing my things around me. Like I was like picking up bits, having a bit of pizza. Like my phone was just like next to me on my chest. Like I could, like I love you comments but I actually forget sometimes. But this, this NJ, this kind of goes back to what we were saying the other day about men men bashing, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. a, a, a woman can, a, if, if if you was a woman, bro, and you come out and you was like, this fucking bitch, da 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 da, -da I, I guarantee well, you, I already no, thought about nobody. This today. If I had been a gay man that did that, it would have been okay. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been a completely different. It's because you, you was a man. Do you get what I'm saying? But that's what Shen said to me. She said because the, I get it right, and I do understand it. Yeah, but as I explained to Shen, yeah, when people see that video, they're like, "Bro, man's angry," but I'm not. I'm talking to the camera like as if I'm going like. Um, and you know what this bitch did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? And I'm like, and then people look in the camera and because I get it, I'm a big guy in that year and I've got a deep voice, but fucking hell, man. Like, you know if I've got a problem with something because there'll be six videos in a row, right? I'm petty, <laughs> yeah? But I just comment on the stuff that I see and I've seen pair of these daytime talk show people that want to be, yeah? And I've seen them all running the chats and talking about it. And, and the thing is, is I could see a lot, like people was with T, yeah, I could see a lot of people that were really smug, yeah, oh. because of what had happened with the Havana thing on camera, yeah. There were so many people that were smug that he was going through it, yeah. And and, I, and that's what the main video was like. Like, if you're going to talk to people about it and you're going to yeah. run your mouth and that, yeah, like, fucking hell, like, just, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I know, like, I know. Also, like, I don't want to sound patronising, yeah, because I get what people are saying, verbal abuse is not okay, like, and different people have different boundaries, I get that, yeah, but do people not actually realise, like, the people that you claim to protect, if you actually cared about the woman that he was calling a bitch, like, it's, she would never have seen it if, like, the people like yourself don't go off and comment it and then try and, like, talk about it and bring it up in every different lives and all these kind of stuff, like, if it weren't getting boosted by you guys, then it's not a thing in the first place. Do you understand? Mm. Like and I've said, everyone's well. kind of like, you can't, well, you can't call him out for talking about it when you guys are also, like, that's what I mean, the hypocrisy, like, the hypocrisy on this app. Like, yeah. Just because you're not in the box, guys, you're still in the comments. So if you're bringing it up, like, you're going to obviously draw someone out in the box to talk about it, and it's a conversation. So yeah. it's still as harmful as what you're trying to say he's doing. Do you understand? Can I also reply to that golden Nisha, yeah? Because in fairness, yeah, if, she's, if that's how she's taking it, yeah, like, let me respond, yeah? Please understand that these people in these boxes are coming there with them all the time, yeah? And she's just missing right now, the blonde one, yeah? Alicia, right? Um, but usually these people will tell you, how many times have I called this girl a scruffy bitch for not brush brushing her hair? <laughs> yeah? Like, it's not... Jeez. The thing is, is I understand it here, and I apologise if you've seen it as verbal abuse, yeah? But I reassure you, and I promise you this, yeah, it's just not... I was, I hate using the term because I, it, people on here are like, oh, you think you're ghetto. I grew up in a ghetto, yeah? Oh. And when you, when you grow up like that and you're around people like that, you speak in a particular way. I'm not speaking the Queen's English out here, yeah? You only have to go and look at my videos to see it, yeah? But as I, as I commented on Shen's video and said it, yeah? When I use the people are like, oh, so you're okay in the word bitch. Listen, I use the word bitch as love, hate, friendship, love. You're like, like again, back to love. Yeah, oh. like it's it's one of them things, and and it may be gross. And if you don't like it, please feel free to unfollow me, man. I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's what the button's there for. But just know that I'm never going to change that language. Yeah, I'm not going to be TikTok trained because then you ain't going to be getting videos from me. Then you're going to be getting videos from a guy who's pleasing everybody else. And I'm not, I'm left and I'm woke, but I ain't being fucking changed for nobody. I love my freedom of speech. Yeah, facts. Mm. I hear it. And you're allowed to exercise that round here, my brother. <laughs> like I said, I'm sorry. You can't just because he said the word bitch. He's probably called me a bitch, but I liked it. People take it in different ways. Like, he's been there when some of you people that have not been there just because there's not certain seggies going on, do you know what I mean? But when women are on, like, the front line when they shouldn't be and heavy shit's getting thrown and not, like, there's no men there, do you know what I mean? It's these men that are there that show up. 
the maddest yeah, thing yeah. is, yeah, I've seen people saying about, oh, like speaking up about that, and then they're then they're in they're they're on videos that you know like the screen recordings of her, like <laughs> saying, like cussing her out, like so. Like, they ones kill me off the most, you know. But the you know what I mean? I'm like, what? This app is just you, disgraceful. You're just, you're just looking for an argument. Then you're not you're not mm. even on anyone's side. No. I think everybody holds their place on here. You have a content creator, a live streamer, etc. Et and then you're a shit star. But the shit star is yeah, on this app. Facts. It's mad. And they go on like you, they can't be seen. They don't even go on a burner account and do it. It's brazen. It's brazen. Like, mixy. It's then they'll like, come back around like everything's cool. Like, oh, uh, it's just mixy. See this, see this, though, Some of you little witches people. don't even wait till Halloween. I see <laughs> it all year round with your little mixing pot. Oh. This is this is why people don't like me here yeah, because everybody else be out here stirring the shit out. Be like throwing it at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, they don't like me. You know me. <laughs> nah, listen. We all been listen. We've been doing this for a minute, and like I say, you know, like um, I, where I did TikTok train myself is to stay out of my reviewed comments if I want to like myself that day. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at the end of the day. <laughs> There's ways to navigate this app here, yeah. unfortunately. Like like I say, man, if you really, and I don't mean this disrespectful when I say it either, if you really are a proper butt sore about the shit that I've said, yeah, hit my inbox, yeah, and or my Instagram, and, like, literally I've got time, and I'll have a chat, and I'll message people, and I'll talk to people back. Yeah. But if you are just a fake count and you're looking for just bullshit and you're giving me shit and you're being disrespectful, then I'm just going to leave you there. Yeah, I only respond to people who have genuine questions, and I'm all for that. That's why me and Shen had an hour conversation because she did. When I, I messaged her, I was like, Yo, listen, we, you know, here's my number, hit me up if you feel comfortable enough to. Yeah, no, facts. Big and, and she said that she was like, Oh, shit. she was like, I'm surprised you sent me with, like, look, man, if the, I don't want to do this back and forth, shit. I can do, and I'm really good at it. Yeah, but. Like yo, ring me, chat to me, and then I did. I said the same thing to her. What's dead funny about it is when these people argue with me, is they don't realise we're on the same team, on the same battlefield. We're just on other sides of the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I was just thinking in my head, you know, like you used to. If you had a back and forth, that would go down for the ages because you like, it's like I don't know, man. Like you're yin and yang, and it. Yeah, you, you yo, this is the thing, thing, man. Listen, like I would like people would say, yo, road man, you're a hypocrite. Yeah, man, I'm good with that. What are you saying? Like, like sometimes in some situations, I'm emotionally attached to them, and you might feel like everybody was like, you were, you were a hypocrite for tea. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Yo, here's I'm Alicia the like, bitch. What do you say? I said, can... here's Alicia the bitch. Don't call me a bitch, Will, because I'll drive to your house. Have you brushed your hair? Will, she will drive to your house. I will drive house. to your house. Have you brushed Alicia? your hair? How are you? No, I've been asleep. You're a liar. Oh, I your swear to kicking. God. <sighs> <laughs> Reels, be nice. Have you even brushed your, brush your teeth? <laughs> Reels, show your teeth right now. Show, show yours. I show mine every day. Show your show white yours. tongue. Oh my God, there's two versus two. <laughs> Alicia, let's tag team, let's get them. Wait, I've just woken up. Alicia, welcome to the hot seat. Welcome to the lab. What's this about? It's um, about Angel Blue. Is that the girl with the baby? Yes, the young lady who came on the app. What's your opinions from what you've seen on the For You page? I think people should stop being horrible to her. <laughs> is that <Yeah>. me? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, everyone. You know the thing is, right? I went into one of her lives and she was saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want him near the child. It's just um, financial, blah, blah, blah. It was just, it's not something I personally would do. But she's if if that is his child, she's obviously seen. You know, we've all been celebrating that he's had a baby and blah blah blah, and it it can't be very nice for her. Come back saying this is if that is his child. It can't be very nice to her to see all of that. Whereas her son is just kind of like, In the from what she's saying, he doesn't want to know. Do you know what I mean? So maybe she's lashing out a bit. I don't know, but. I just think it's a sad state of affairs for the child involved, to be honest. No, I agree with that. I agree with yeah. that. So it's okay for her to expose it all online. I think we kind of grasped the fact that she she needed a voice in it. And Look, she this is one of them rooms, right? Unfortunately, it happens, yeah, but guess what? We don't fucking all shout at each other in here. 
this is one of them rooms, yeah, where people have difference of opinions on this situation. Yeah. yeah. And like mm -hmm. I said, like I said, man, use my peoples. I listen to you. If you feel like I'm doing too much, message me. You get me? Um, I'd do the same for you. But um, if you are just there because you don't like my content, then hit that block button. Baby. Do, you know what I, do you know what I think just obviously pushed you over the edge? I bet there's obviously any mum wants to bring a child into this world and have the most love for it and everybody to be talking about your child and say how cute. And obviously when she's seen Tyrone live and, you know, she's getting the most like response from, from everybody in the comments, everybody's welcoming mm -hmm. the baby. Like it must have just hit home a little bit that that wasn't her and it wasn't her baby. Do you get what I'm saying? And, and obviously that's probably just sparked to like to a, a bit of jealousy in her and thought, you know what, this ain't right. But ultimately like, it is what it is, isn't it? It's just one of them situations now where it just, they just need to handle it and get it sorted. And it then... shouldn't have been put all over the internet. Um, I don't agree with that, but people deal with things differently, don't yeah, they? And this is what I mean when everyone's saying, me. like, respectfully, like, this is just me giving my honesty devil's advocate, because like I said, I wouldn't, but it doesn't mean I'm sticking up for anything. But just because I wouldn't or we wouldn't, like, no one can really say shouldn't when he's, like I said, like a public figure himself, if it was to be the case, and if it was actually, like I said, if it's not, then obviously, you know, she's absolutely insane and it's ridiculous. But if he is actually the dad, then no one can really tell her, the same way no one can tell him to talk about it, no one can tell her to not. Is my point. If that baby's nothing to do with him, Paige, this is absolute in. Yeah, then it's insanity. Then what he can do is because he actually has, unfortunately for her, this is what I mean, if she, if it's untrue, I'll be honest, she must like be, um, I don't she's know, either, no, she's either like, no, I'm saying if it's not true, she's either that desperate for clout that she's not actually realised that he actually, unlike normal TikTokers, has the actual background and the support and the management to actually really go to civil court and sue her for legal defamation of character. Do you understand? Like, yeah, but she's like got, she, she ain't got no, she ain't got no peas really to take it. It doesn't matter. That that does, he was still, you can still get paid. It doesn't matter. The whole point is it's gagging order. You, it doesn't smile. Leave me alone, creep. Well, I would. I'm gonna be honest with you, lot. Hello, I'm Dawny. Live with her, and I think it is his baby. What makes you say that? Hello, uh, uh, NJ. Hello, Dawny. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. Live with her. And okay. A girl, before that, a girl come in, a friend of her. Um, does he come from Portsmouth? Uh, not far, not far from there. But well, kind of anyway, it. these two, they went to school with him. Yes, yes, yes. Right, I heard this conversation. They went to school with him, and and about him. And yeah. she sort of was seeing him like on and off, on and off, and then he found a girlfriend. I did hear I, I the just story. I did hear that can't. side of it. But can I just throw, can I just like play devil's advocate here yeah, with the situation, yeah? Because obviously it sounds like they wasn't really in a relationship. They no, was just right. linking, yeah? So let's say in a scenario she did fall pregnant and she let oh, Ty know and Ty said, you know what, I'm not ready for a, a child and we're not really together. There's not really any stability. It'd be my first yes. child. Maybe I would want to be in a stable relationship. Obviously, as a man, we can say that, but then it's up to a woman what a woman does with her body and it. Do you know what I'm saying? So oh, she does... Oh, one minute, Dawny. One minute, Dawny. So she does go ahead and has the child and it and Ty's already made it clear look yeah. uh, do you know what I mean I feel yeah, like it you, might be one of those situations but where do we lie with that do you know what I'm when saying you're, if you're sleeping with someone unprotected you've got to take the consequences that could yeah. come with that whether you're a man or a woman and even if you're saying no I don't want this baby you half went into those actions to make that mm. baby so you've still yeah. got to provide Alicia you took in some sort of way man then what are you thinking yeah, ultimately, if you don't slap something on the end of it, yo, you're just as much to blame, you know, like... And then, the girl is your wife and you don't want a baby, a crazy bitch, you don't want a baby, a surgeon and you don't want a baby. Do you get... You know, us women have to do a lot to not want a baby. All you man them have to not do yeah. is don't G it unprotected if you don't want the baby and then cry afterwards. It's like sitting there, everyone's like, oh, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you do this? How can you yeah. sit there and say, like... Yeah. You know, oh, if someone don't want it, that doesn't, regardless, what if, I don't know, 
many a reasons why women don't want to necessarily go down that route of not having it. Mm-hmm. In yeah. terms of many of things, you understand? Yeah. That's why, unfortunately, there's so many kids that are unfortunately born into broken homes or misunderstood families or mothers, yeah. etc. Many a reasons. But it's always down to the woman, regardless. And the oh, man no. just gets to go in and out, have a happy time, and then piss yeah. off and go home. I'm the just... best thing, men, because I'm raising two boys, and guess what? I'll always tell my sons, my son's just turned a teenager. Yeah. If you don't want to ever have a situation, a forever situation with that woman, then you go in protected. Because yeah. would you go into anywhere else unprotected that you Your need to be protected comments. in? No. Real, they already know what you're going to say. Yeah, as you said, she may have told him she was on the pill, and if they've seen each other, then you, don't, you won't use things. But sorry, it's no excuse. Mm. I don't believe no woman... Like in that situation, like any woman can trap you, like like or any woman. Well, not can always, because the way the pills don't work. Or lie to you. Sometimes pills ain't hundred percent. Like to get what I'm saying. So I, I ultimately strap it up at all times if you don't want a child, innit? Yeah. Well, I hear you. Nothing, the government, like the government says. Like, Especially if you're out here and you want to do the hanky panky, yeah, and you want to be a bit a little boy that you claim over a big man. Stop putting everything on women then, because respectfully, if you are both doing that and that same act, just because the woman has to carry it because that's the way that fucking God planned that shit, doesn't mean that the responsibility falls on them. Pick a side. You either have to go through a traumatic experience or go through something that's life-changing and raise it. And if you do want to, you have no responsibility at all. No. The little I'm, minimum I'm, you can do is financial responsibility if you don't want to be a grown adult. But you're not going to lay down, have your two-two pumps, and then boop, and then act like... <laughs> You know that life can't be created because, bitch, that's why we are here. That's why the act is there in the first place to yeah, produce, reproduce, reproduction. So don't lay down whether you are drunk or whether you are sober, whether you love the girl or you can't call a bitch crazy. Oh, she kept my baby, she trapped me. What did she force you to lay down? Because if she did, that's wrong. If she didn't, shut the fuck up and grow up. Yeah, you wanted your little, yeah, Tommy Tudger, because you could have gone home and had little two, two tugs, but you wanted your fun time, sir. So don't then complain when the baby then pops out or the belly then grows in nine months, yeah, because Mm. what happens? Boom, boom, bring life. The boom, boom, bring life. And you all block clock know it because you came from one, so let's not act silly now. (laughs) Where do we go from here? All right, can I just say something for everybody that's in here, yeah? Every week we do um, TikTok live debates on different content creators and issues at hand. Yeah, it's called the surviving. It's not surviving her. It's not on the Netflix. Yeah, it's just yeah. a strap line for it. All right. I hope I've cleared that up. Who do you do next? Uh, maybe you, Dawny. I'm only joking. I, uh, I, 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 just, I, I do have somebody in no, mind. Still, but... I just can't. For, I can't believe we found a female voice of me. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dordy. Oh, oh everyone, oh, you lost my support. Womp, womp, womp. I'm going to go to bed crying about it. <laughs> Kings, boo you. <laughs> now, nah, you know, a lot of people was in the comments saying as well, like, you know, it takes two. And, and what about the woman protecting herself as well? I've really yeah, no, heard facts, on the panel about the man yeah, who always the women. That ultimately. Mad. No, it should be both, really. Ult- but, you know. Ultimately, the juice comes out of the man, in it. Like, so, yo, if, you, if I stop me making that happen, yeah, then there is no baby, is there? I think it's both as well. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a poll on this, man, because I'm not having this. No, nah, like, oh, yeah. Right, like, a poll, wait there, wait there, my G, wait there, my G. Right, let's have a poll. I want everybody to vote, yeah? If you think that a man should be the one that's just strapping up, yeah, then I want to see... <laughs> smiling faces. I if you think there's a lot of women in here. Yeah, I know that. I know, granted. Um, if you think that it should be both, which I think it should be both, yeah, then I want to see a crying face. It, right. It, can I just say... Just the man, then? Can, I, can I say something? In reality, it should be both. Who's but, putting a lot... Who's putting a smiley face? Because, mate... What's wrong with you? Oh, you're just saying that it's it both. Just... Of course it's both, but we're saying, like, yeah. if it's both, mm-hmm. if only one of them's crying about it. So, for instance, <laughs> if the woman's crying about being pregnant... That's a bit extreme. No, 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 it's true, though. I'm saying, no, respectfully, like, you get over things, things happen, but if you're going to be not an adult about it, you know, there's so mm-hmm. many men, there's so many women that both of them may not want a child, but then, you know what I mean, they grow up. Mm-hmm. and adapt to the situation but then be grown up and be decent people there's plenty of men both. i know that didn't want kids that are great dads do you understand what i'm trying to say it should be yeah. both yeah but ultimately you can't trust the other person like for example if it was me 
you can't trust a woman to just be like, okay, um, she's gone and got the in injection or she's gone and got the contraception. Well, you can't just trust somebody's word. Like, you have well, to. It doesn't always work anyway. Just if you don't want a baby, strap up or don't beat them. Yeah, so oh, like, ultimately, it, 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 it goes on you as a person. Ultimately, you should take ultimate responsibility for yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? In that, in that, in that situation. I like that. Sorry, bro. Sorry, I like that comment. It, it, it is both a man. Oh, well, they're going so quick. A, ma a man can walk away at any point, so we also have to act on our own behalf as females. We've got you, MK. Yeah. Carry on, my bro. Sorry. No, yeah, so, yeah, it, it, it should be both people, but ultimately, you have to take responsibility for yourself in any situation. So... If you go into a situation where you where somebody's telling you, yeah, I'm on contraception, you have to take that as it's a lie. And and, and then, you know, like look after yourself. And same way with a woman, if a man's saying, yeah, I'm going to strap it up, you have to make sure that you're, you're taking yourself serious. And, you know, if you don't want a child, you have to do whatever you can, make sure he's on contraception before you just start getting down with it. You get what I'm saying? And It's true. And so, it, it's as simple as that. Like, if you, if you don't take that responsibility, then you, 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 you it's a blame, isn't it? Like, it's, it is what it is. No, and it's true. What MK said is true. Like, it may not be fair, but also, like, as a woman, you have to understand if you also have laid down with that man, and he's obviously not on that, and that's what you've chosen to lay down with. If you have that child, you need to understand you're having that baby for you and oh. the child and the baby. And you know in your head, and you're set out to raise that baby and raise that child good regardless. Do you understand? At the yeah. same time. Yeah. It's just a crazy dynamic because it's a boy as well. Like, like, show. Sure. Oh, if you've got peas, just you know, go chemist, get the morning after. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bad to see. Like, but it, obviously, like, it's, you can't be reckless, in it. Just like moving reckless is where you get problems, isn't it? That's what I find. Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna move out here, like, you know, I don't give a fuck, and um, I'll like, she's I'll trust that she's on something. More than likely, you're gonna end up with bare youths, isn't it? It is what it is. Yeah, but with all these things that we all, because I know people see it on the For You page all the time, like, you are not the father. Like, that's the <laughs> time, you know. It's like, no, everybody's like, oh, he looks like him, oh, he looks like him. You know, you know how many men have felt like that? Like, I've seen actual content creators on here share their story and that. And I'm yeah. not yeah, do you remember what happened to, um, was it Mali? Yeah, yeah. I, I felt was... so bad for him. This is what I was saying, like, no one, when no one knows right now, no one can cuss. The same way people are rooting for her, you can't cast Tyrone for however he's dealing with it, whether he talks or not, because none of us actually know. No. Oh. Mm, only DNA can prove it. I, just oh, I reckon they are going to have a DNA. Uh, definitely now. And yeah, at the end of the day, regardless of what people think about her, like, this has accelerated what, what she wanted, you know what I mean? And that's to, you know what I mean, have... have Hopefully, having him in, in, in the child's life, and it that should have been the main thing for what I was grasping that like you're more about the money and not the bond, which is sad. Yeah, but at the same time, you, you need to probably understand it from her point of view. If she's been used to raising a child on her own, then yeah. she probably don't. She's probably like, well, I don't need the help. I just need the, I need the financial support. Do you get what I'm saying? Because ultimately, there's a lot of women out here who raise ch children on their own and they don't need the dads there, but they could do with more money. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know when she said the nails thing, though? I, did, I don't think that worked in her favour. I know she said that it got clipped. That, that, so that was the main thing that triggered me. Yeah, but can yeah. I, as a woman side, I've got such a personal experience. I just don't bait my stuff out too much on here. But yeah. In terms of me as a woman, I'm saying, even little things like nails, whether she was saying, oh, I want to get my nails done, like I said, in terms of responsibility, especially as men that would sit here and say, not only is money obviously contributing to your child is not important, but bonding. If that person is openly not bonding, but then they're taking, you can see they're very, very financially very well. But then they also, on top of that, have another child then in your face. The least you say, the minimal you could have, right? In terms of, this is not even just talking about them. I'm just saying, you know, um, like a hypothesis now type thing the least that person could do or you would want from them is the money from it because even if it is getting my nails done because if i'm a single black parent and you are very well off even if i'm paying 30 pounds for my nails because i want to as a woman because i work fucking hard and i want to look nice and cute yeah. and i'm not sitting here in multiple relationships doing up this and that it's still coming out of your child 
that paycheck in the end of the day because it's thirty pounds that really and truly a small amount you could be tripling and putting that back into. Yeah. So I wouldn't be needing to have to budget. Oh, nails this week, or I've got to go and do this because I I've already got to do right. everything look, 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 for look, look, the kids. Like the me, kids have already have to get play, set. Let me play a devil's advocate here with this situation, right? Because I'll be dead straight with you now, yeah. Right? Like, look, yeah. yeah. I'm a firm believer, yeah, in that if you make your baby mum struggle, that therefore means your child will struggle, yeah? yeah? Now, I am all for doing and making your baby mum's life as easy as possible, yeah? But if you are not, if I, listen, man, I'm not being funny, yeah? If I ain't with that woman, I ain't paying for them nails to be wrapped around something. When I say man. nails, don't. When I say nails, I don't. I, when I, I mean, she probably. I don't. I've not watched it too much. But when I say that from a woman's point of view, like when I'm making examples, I don't necessarily mean nails that point. Because when I'm saying that, what I'm saying is your child has clothing like winter, summer, autumn. Then they have to have this clothing. Then they've got PE. Then they've got summer like trips. They've got school trips. Then they mm. want to go out. Then we've got to go to the fair. And then we can't just sit in every weekend. We've got to go outside. And yeah, then you've got to go do it. Then go do that. So when that, I say yeah. nails, that's just one thing I'm saying that. No, no, oh, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Like I could not be taking it out of that budget. Is what I mean. Like when it's not that deep. That. It could be anything. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't. You, you don't. You don't have to pay for any woman's nails that you're not with. That's not no, what I'm saying. That. What I'm saying is, is in that situation, though, it's like, like, look, I'm a firm believer. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not saying it like in an alpha dickhead way. I think it's, it sounds like proper cringe when you do it. Yeah, but I'm a man. Yeah, and all of them things and all them bills are going to be covered because it's my babies and my babies need it. Yeah, and I hear that. Yeah, like I really, really, really do. Yeah, like any weight that can be lifted off will 100% be lifted, like, there or not. Do you understand? But mm -hmm. in, in certain aspects, it's like, so this is where my issue comes with it. Like you've just said there, there's a list of reasonable things that the money can be used for. So why not come and base your video and use one of them things? Because in, in that particular circumstance, like I said to, um, oh, I'm forgetting the name now, Shan, Shan, yeah, like I said to Shen yesterday, yeah, there's men out here that are going to be triggered to fuck by that because I no, know No, yeah, I agree. Like, I personally, like I said, I wouldn't and I don't. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong, I pay for all my kids, period, myself, even though they do see the stuff. So don't get it twisted. I but that's my nails don't pay for it. I just meant that maybe that's what she meant. If she, don't forget, she's, I don't, is she a TikTok girl? Like, does she do social media? I don't know. Also, she said she come on before, but nobody really knows. That's what I mean, like pressure. I don't know what also, it was I'm saying. She might just be, like, I don't know how to say it without being rude. Like, she, Oh, she might say as well, oh, no. she, when she's sorry, Rose, when she said it, it was, she was just live and she was a bit tipsy, but I wouldn't say drunk, she was a bit tipsy and it slipped out. It weren't like she just come and done like an official video announcing it. And yeah, that, that. Also, also, you don't know whether or not that's been taken out of context. You don't like, I, obviously, I didn't see the live. Like, sometimes, like, a girl can be saying, Well, it would be nice for if the child has. It gets to see its dad, so I can go and get my nails done. I don't, you don't know if it was said like that. I'm just yeah. hearing ev everybody running and jumping at the fact that she said that. Yeah, even how yeah, I just said it in thing. the comments, people have jumped on me saying, "Oh, yeah, a man yeah, should pay for person. a woman's nails," and that's not what I was saying. And everyone knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Ari, you have to wait around here. When I, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I wasn't going at page with that. Yeah, what? What? You weren't going at each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when, when I'm saying, I put all that, man. We ain't policing around here. Oh, man. she said, "Look at my nails. All my money goes on my son," which is which is fair enough then, because obviously, if she wants to, if she wants to, you know, like dress nice herself, everybody should have that right to. But if if she's not getting help and she's got to spend all her money on her son. Then of course she, she should she should want help. Then that, that's not her saying she wants his money to go and spend on her nails. What she's saying is she'd like help so she could in order for her to have you know free up some of her funds to go on herself. That's what she's saying. Okay, can we hear from? Is it, how am I pronouncing your name? Is it Ari or Ari? Yeah, sorry. Well, you, Person, sorry, I was munching up on sweet. <laughs> But um, me and that girl have been following each other for a very, very long time on TikTok. And she's never, ever been a clout chaser. Do you know what I mean? I think, like she already mentioned, she was tipsy on that day. And you could tell, like, you know, she was drinking because of how much she, she was. Pardon? Was you in the live when she said it? Yeah, I was. Like, what, what, what was the context around it? Like, how did it... How did it I think slip? she was just breaking down. And awesome. it just happened that she had a bit to drink and 
uh, she was was already on live and she ended up mentioning it but it was never her intention to go viral on tiktok because of it or to chase clout because otherwise she would have done that a long time ago do you know what i mean yeah mm. yeah she said that point still. because I, but she would, hold on then, so she for would, a very long time one sec, one sec though she would know that by mentioning that that it would travel like wildfire though because Kumani is like one of the kings yeah, of the but I think she's you know sorry no, I think it's just the thing where because she drank and she you know like when you get emotional because you've had a few drinks she just broke down yeah that's what it was it was never meant to go this far but it did and no. obviously she already had opened her mouth so too bad now it's gone all around TikTok but yeah. I don't think that was the aim no mm. That's why them like because it because it did spread like that. It's like she's she's got a firm it now, isn't it? Yeah, but to be honest, yeah. it is her it is her business. She can talk it wherever she wants. Like as far as we know, like I say, if she's telling the truth, then it is her business, isn't it? So who? But as long as she knows that when you come on this app and check your business, your business becomes everybody's yeah, business. Yeah, no, no, oh. for real. For real, I hear Whether that. People but... like it or you not. You know what it is? I just, I kind of feel about. bad for it though, yeah, because even though, like, I love you guys, like, if, say if this was me, Vincent, because even if it was me, everyone knows, like, even though we're all good, good people, if it's something mad, mad, we, everyone's still going to talk about it. However, me, I would firmly come in and be like, yeah, listen, you can all chat your business, but I know what the truth is. It's none of your mm-hmm. fucking business, you weirdo. Shut the fuck up and move about. Do you know what I mean? But mm. she, if she's not about that, then she might be a bit more vulnerable. Or if she wants mm. to crap, for instance, then this is what she likes regardless. So I think like everyone that's sitting there judging, being like, "Oh, why are you talking in general?" Like, no one's sitting there know, passing, you know no one my... out. Everyone's just having a literal, general discussion about what's been put out there. Do you know what, you know what I mean? My proper it's... feelings on this side. You know what it feels like to me? It feels oh, like oh, to oh. me that she's 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 been on her own for a while. She's seen the love and support that that obviously Tyrone and his baby mum got and the baby's got. And mm-hmm. I feel that I feel that that's where it's come from. It's coming from a place where you know I've not had none of this support. Mm. I, I would I, like some of that. You can't blame her for that though, because any mum that's had, especially his first child, would be triggered by that. If I saw that and I'm thinking, wait, hold on, you're not paying, you're not doing nothing for your son, it would get to me. It would really hurt. Listen, I've been, I've been that, I've been that with my second child, and I can't lie. Like obviously, the person's not on the internet, so mm. it's not that thing. But my reaction, you thought would be sitting there crying about if you're that sensitive about. Road man saying mm-hmm. bitch and this girl coming out and telling a story. You that would be it's it's yeah, like it's a different. It's nothing to do with clout or da, 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 whether she reacted yeah. on Apple or not. She you you don't know that she's not sat there after every live and sat there with anxiety, still regretting it. But she's trying to do whatever she can do to, for the, real, what she though. thinks is good for her kid. Do you understand? Let's and when you real. see someone that's meant to love your child love a child, but there's like what's wrong with your? Do you know what I mean? If it is his kid, it's not nice. So if that is what triggered her, then. No one can really say why she's let's, talking. Let's be real. If this was for clout or for oh, money, yeah, she, I, there's a lot more things that she could do. I.e. turn it to subs only. She could be like, everybody follow me. Yeah. She could be doing a lot more lot more battles and things like that. Like, I, I generally don't think it is that. I, I generally think it's probably come from a place where she's just seen it, like how much love and support that he's got with his with his child. And it's it's just a jelly. Like, it's, yeah, it's hit on. It's been like, you know what? I've no, I never had that when my child was born. And it's I've not even it her. She, it's not even I've never had that. Is our son has never had that. Our son deserves yeah. that. Why can't our son have that, but your daughter can? Yeah, I yeah. that. Like I said, um, I was in the exact same situation. That, that's what I think my heart it is. hurt. My heart didn't hurt for me because I don't care for the man. My heart hurt because my son someone else's first son is never going to experience that bond that he's openly displaying with a child a daughter mm. that he's now had it's nothing to do with the woman or da 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 it's you your heart hurts as a mum you'll oh. do the craziest things when you're either in love yeah or when you're a parent and you just you know what i mean you're trying to do yep. the best and you're on your own that's the only two times so she's either still crazy in love with him or she's just broken now and that's triggered her as a woman or it's not true completely and then obviously he can do his big one and be like do you know what i mean does nobody else think though, right? So just 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 hear me out, yeah, right? So we all seen, yeah, when she was born, yeah? Mm. And we all seen how this man was looking at that child, yes? Mm. Yeah. Right? And that man was so madly in love, yeah. Mm. You could physically see, and I understand how that would upset somebody else, right? Mm. But, but if that if that in itself, yeah, that there has to tell you, yeah, 
that there was, and this is the bit where none of us fucking know, yeah? There has to have been a doubt, right? There has to have been some form of reason for this shit to be taking place because I know how I look at each and every one of my girls, yeah? Neither one of them is different, yeah? A lot of girlfriends then. Pardon? Have you got a lot of girlfriends then? Have I? No, behave yourself. Oh, I thought you meant each and one of your girls. No, 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 no. Is it my, like my daughter? Like, 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 all, all my daughters came from the same place. <laughs> Oh, yeah. um, but now nah, I know that I look at each and every one of my daughters, yeah, with with, with that same look that he was giving the money, yeah. Mm. Now you don't just get to a place where that is you with one kid and you ain't being that with another kid, yeah. The only way that that's gonna happen is if there is doubt, yeah? And I did see on one of the screenshots, I'm sure I can't like don't quote me, yeah. But I swear I seen on one of the screenshots, it was like, yo, show me the bump. Yeah. yeah? And that was T replying to her. Yeah? Oh. So that, you know, tell, that tells you in itself that for whatever reason that nobody in this room right here knows. Yeah? There was that, a doubt there. That could speak a lot of things, though, because at the same time, like, if, if he's, like, made it clear to her at any stage, look, I don't want to be, I don't want you to be my girl. Because let's, let's be real, man will cheat girls that they don't want to be their girls. Mm -hmm. to, get, to get what I'm saying? So if she's, if that's come to the case when it's like, oh, she's like, oh, I've missed, I've missed my period now, da 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 da, da And that's probably, it could have, could have bugged him out and he'd be like, you know what? Like, mm -hmm. I need to get out of I don't know, do you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, if he's asked for that question where it's, it's like, let me see the bump and... You know, she's like saying, "I'm not got a bump yet," because some girls don't even show until they're like, like five, six months. Do you know what I mean? Down the line, seven months, eight months. Eight, sometimes we don't seven, show. Eight months, like it, it just depends, isn't it? Like there's, there could be so many factors to it, but ultimately, like I, I, I do feel that like she is telling the truth. I just feel that he probably didn't want her as a baby mum, first of all, for whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I think that, that as I well. I don't think it's that. I just think at the time he weren't ready for a child. Yeah, and yeah, I feel that obviously his situation now, he's got he's got his woman that he's happy with, he's got his baby he's happy with. Because so he's ready love, for it now. Yeah, so the love, like, he's, he's ready for it now. Do you get what I'm saying? And, and obviously he just probably didn't want it to be with her. Like, but mm -hmm. that, that's no... That's no bad oh, thing. Like, obviously, it's just obviously depending on what this, this, the, the conversation was about, you know... Now, you know what, bro? He actually not. strikes me as a person that, like, he would want to plan the child, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, no, sorry, yeah. but but also, if, it, if that was the yeah. situation, if he knew, like, if he knew, this is all, like, guys alleged, if he did know and he only just wanted this one now because he's settled, that is disgusting and it's awful. I'll tell you why. Yeah, People need that. to stop laying down, like I said, and breeding. That poor child, forget about yep, her, is going to grow up seeing his dad openly want and love like I know and I've seen other child and my child have to experience openly love and adore another child for no reason that you can explain because whether he, he might not be with that girl for a long time he might be soon you. and be with next girl but my point is it shouldn't be about the woman the same way everyone has so much no, vim for let, let me just let me like let me like let me like let me like the same way everyone has so much vim for a woman who loses their kid there's women that have gone through dv and suffered a lot yeah and lose their kids from mad situations whether they deserve it or not yeah and mm -hmm. everyone judges everything my mum does but no one has fucking vim for a dad what just because he weren't ready in a situation boo who want fucking want because you is here that's your dna already. that's your son you should love him so if you do yeah, not and you, do, and you you're just not ready in that relationship yeah, so you got to be with it. Stop being a pussy then, laying down and acting like you got a pillow talk with every bitch. Say to the girl, no, we're not together, but I will have the kid. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, 50 50 every other weekend, whatever, whatever. That's my son. I love that kid because that's my child and I'm going to do da 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 da. No, guys, yeah. this is just hypothetical I, we're talking about. Because if you're you know about enough, your kid, all you men out there that think just because you don't want that woman crazy, and you don't want to lay down with that woman and you don't want to wife that woman, then you're not going to lay down with your wood open and non protected with that woman. That's your <laughs> kid right, and that's your DNA. One sec, babe. Babe, I, I agree with you, yeah. I, 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 I 100% agree with you. What I, what I also said, what I also wanted to say was, we don't know the situation, and maybe it could have been a situation where he was like, okay, well, I'll still be there for the youth, 
but I don't want to be with you. And then she could have been like, mm-hmm. you know, oh, fuck that. If you ain't with me, you know, I have nothing to do with him at yeah. all. Like, I'm just talking t- hypothetically, but Yeah, I know. And so until we know, not- like, the ins um, and outs. Oh, uh, wait of- there, real. Guys, when we're on stage and someone's talking, please don't interrupt, Tom. I'm going to drop you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we we don't know, like, the ins and outs of who wanted to have the child and who didn't want to have the child. So we can't put that on anybody just yet. You need to get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like, the fact of the matter is he could have wanted anything to do with the child. He could have wanted to be there and he could have wanted to be at the birth and everything. He just probably just didn't want to have a relationship with that girl. Nobody knows this until we see evidence of that. But ultimately, I don't think you're going to. So that's that's not important. What's important is, is finding out that the child is his mm. or not. And then where he goes from there with that and whether that, that child's in, included. Because obviously, like I say, if she, if she ultimately feels that she wants to have, to have the child to have a father in its life, he should be able to have that option. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't believe anybody should be stopped unless there's a, a threat to the child. Well, if, as a man, if you're big enough to do it unprotected, then yeah. you're big enough to take responsibility for the child. Yeah. Don't matter about... For example, my baby dad, I'm not expecting him to be in love with me. I don't care about that anymore. But I want him to be there for his child. And I think that's the same for her. You know? I I wanted to say something. I'm sorry, but if that's his child, just because she didn't want to be with him, he took the biggest cop out. I think it was the other way around, to be fair. (laughs) I'll be honest. I feel like it was the other way around. Yeah. I feel like he didn't want to be with her because for whatever reason. Probably obviously he wanted to link it and do whatever and whatever, but he didn't see her as the the, the mother of his child. The mother, yeah. That's what I feel. I get that, but it's not about him and her. He's still a little boy in the middle. But but if you don't see see her as the mother of your child, then you should wrap it up then. I know, but what, what the problem is, is we don't know the circumstances. So, for example, if he said, look, I ain't linking you no more, and then in that time, like, they've blocked each other or whatever, she, she's then found out she's pregnant, tried to get hold of him, couldn't, like, there's just so many variables, you get what I'm saying? Like, we can all speculate as to what's happened, but whoa, ultimately... Whoa, 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 someone just said in here, and I, I do actually kind of semi-remember that, that she said that he was with somebody else at the time. No, 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 he weren't. No. No. This, the Not girl's actually slightly. a really very humble girl. One, one else. Yeah. Months no. like Harry did. She said he had a girlfriend. See, Butterflies just said it as well. No, they can't. Yes, listen. that's what she said. MK just said it as well. Yeah, but people, it's TikTok, man. People just run with she things. She did say that, yeah. She did say that, yeah. Well, then, if, right, if that's the case... Oh, man. Can we have that would... people on here, yeah? Wall on, wall on, everyone, wall on, okay. <laughs> You're doing a poll, yeah? If she did say that, then I want to see a smiley face. If she did say that, then I want to see a sad face, everybody. If, but, if that's the case as well, oh, Angie... Say that again. If she yes, did say yes, that, I want to see a know. smiley face. If she didn't say that, I want to see a blue face. She didn't say that, right? It, she didn't say that, but it's TikTok. People are mixed up. And if, <laughs> and if that didn't... Look, look at what people... They weren't even in the live, probably. They're not mixed up like that. Not every single person in here is mixed up. I'm sorry. If, if that did happen, that could be the reason why I didn't want to... She said it several be times. Her. Oh, my God. Get, yes, get she, did, she did say that. Ari, are you her friend personally? Are you coming in here as... Let's, are you coming in here as a little mole, are you? <laughs> no. Oh. Me and her have been following each other on TikTok for... A good few years now. Do you know what it I mean? It wasn't his BM. It was the girl before. All right then. What girl before? <laughs> Dawn is funny. I can't have a girl before. she will be coming forward, pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh yeah, she did. All right. Thank you for voting, guys. We've cleared that up now. I'm I'll sure the fifty-eight over guys. the two on the panel. What is life? And anyways, it's not the 1950s where, oh my God, she got pregnant. We don't know how. Like, <laughs> there's so many things you can do to prevent that. If you don't see her as your future baby mom, then you make sure you take precautions for the girl to not get pregnant. Yeah, do you know what facts. I mean? And in some That's rare scenarios, it could happen. What you got to understand, you know, a lot what some women take, can't, the conception, I can't say that properly, don't always agree with them. 
Yeah. I said this earlier. But ultimately, for me, you just you shouldn't lay down with something that you don't want a wife anyway. Mm. So hold on, hold on, hold on, Paige. Paige. He needs to go back and all. Paige, basically. Wait, well, let me say this, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, well, carry sorry. on, carry on. Let me yeah. just... But King, man, right? Yo, listen. No, we've, we've all done it, bro. Right? I'm just saying. We, uh, <laughs> we're brethren, right? But yeah. you, you ain't telling me. Yeah, in your whole big man life. <laughs> no, bro. Yeah. I'm not, bro, 100% I agree. I know what you're going to say. I'm not saying I've not done it. I'm saying as I've grown up now and I've realised, you know, certain things, I wouldn't lay down with something now that I wouldn't wife. Like, I wouldn't. Bro. No, I hear that. I hear that. As a big you're grown a man, good man now, for as that. a big grown man with life experience, mm. yeah, I'm big and grown enough, yeah, um, to make that decision now. But me at 22 years old, I'd have put it in a con can. Yeah, talk like 100%, about. bro. I was yeah. out there smashing everything when I was young, but at, at, the, same, at the same time, like, obviously I got lucky in it. I didn't, I didn't have any of them, them, them dramas there. But but saying, if sorry, my bad. I was just saying, now I've grown up, like, I just ultimately, I wouldn't I wouldn't move like that now. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, how old are you, bro? How old am I? Yeah, 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 if you don't I'm, mind me oh, asking. Oh, I'm, I'm 42. But right, yeah, I, listen, I'm 37 years of age. There's, oh, a, reason yeah. you, there's yeah. a reason me and you, right, are sat here and we know this now, yeah? Yeah, like, facts. Listen, I, like, I'm telling you now, yeah, I cut mine off because I was terrified of this shit, <laughs> right? So let's get that straight, yeah? But yeah. we're big grown men. What's time? Yeah. What, 23? Yeah. 24. Is he only 23? Yeah, man. Come on, we're talking like he's a big grown man like oh me. Oh, my God. I, I, thought he was Sorry, bro. I thought he was in his 30s. Yeah, I thought he was in his 30s. He's, in his, he's like 23, 24. What? Like no, nah, surely he's older than that. He's actually young. Nah, little, somebody Google that shit. Somebody Google that shit. No, he's got to be like 28. I'm Wait, sorry, she said she's there's 27. there's no way he's Louis younger than me. Yeah. Nah, he's got to be older than that. 28-ish. 28, man. Some, somebody Google it. Someone said he's 30. I'm... Uh, right, well, all right, so when did this situation happen? So it was two years ago, so he would have been 27. Yeah, right. that makes it a bit more because she says she there was in the same year at school. This that this that. Twenty nine. Google said, yeah. So you would have been twenty seven then. Oh, okay. Happened. You might have just been a bit more older. So you were both grown enough to know right from wrong. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's the same age as my son. Okay. Like even when you was younger. And you're thinking, nah, I definitely ain't getting that thing pregnant. You're going to make sure, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to make sure she don't get pregnant. Mm. Yeah, but I ain't going to sit here and pretend there on some fucking fake shit, yeah, that I had my shit together at 25, 26, 27. So yeah, nah, but you're not yeah. going to bust a nut inside the girl for free what? Because she's she's hot. Let me just nah, bust you know what? Right, like, listen, listen, nah, I'll be dead straight with you now. There's a lot of stuff, yeah, that I keep hidden in the closet, yeah? <laughs> but not because it's bad, yeah? Yeah, Floney, hear it again. Yeah, hear me, hear me. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I keep quiet, yeah, just because there's no need for anybody to hear them stories, yeah. Well, you might as well tell us that because it's all yeah. going to come out. No, but anyway. listen, we just we just used to party a lot when we was younger, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. and, and in those kind of situations, I'm not going to lie, yeah. There was mo there was, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying that my behaviour was right, and I was extremely fortunate, yeah. Mm. But I also know that uh, that. A lot of the decisions I know to make now aren't based on the fact that I grew up and it just was like downloaded like a file. It was yeah. due to life experience and it was due to making mistakes and it was Max. due to... And like, I think a lot of people don't realize this, that, that look, we're, all, we're only human, yeah? Mm. And I, I have made more mistakes than most people in this fucking room. Yeah, I, but, I don't know. I'm 55. I've made a lot of mistakes. But but that, well, this is the point, though. I think it's a lot of it is just. Again, it goes back to the same point without just repeating it and it being boring. Nobody actually knows the politics behind it. Yeah, but right. this is this is this is a situation where. You don't know what's what. You don't know what conversations have been had. You don't know what's been promised from one end to the other. Yeah, yeah. and 
and like things can be said and then things can be not followed through and blah de blah de blah there could be so many different variations of why this happened yeah but i just i can't sit here and pretend that i knew and had my shit together yeah at at that age yeah because at the end of the day right i'm i'm human and i fucked up and the only reason i know now and my pull out game is amazing yeah is because i've got three babies yeah like like, and that's and like let's not pretend you get what i'm saying like and that's and that's just i think i think a lot of people forget that sometimes and it's like now yo listen i'll put it anywhere else but yeah yeah like yeah and 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 i've had the snip man's still terrified you get what i'm saying Yeah. yeah like but that is due to life experience. And the only reason I am a good dad right now and the only reason my kids get the best version of me is because I made mistakes on the way. And it, let's say, let, like, let's just say this, right? Cause I'm not gonna throw complete shade on a girl like, cause it doesn't make sense to what I said. It's my language, yeah? And a lot of the situation is sad, yeah? I mean, fucking hell, man, I'm not a monster. I do feel for the girl, yeah? But I also know, yeah, that there's a lot of variables that could have happened that could have made Ty do that. And, and there's only one option here of of all of them variables, there's only one that ties a dickhead, yeah? yeah? And and if you go back and you look at the entire situation, I don't know, I, I listen, me and Ty ain't best friends, but I chat to the guy, yeah? Um, but in a, in a situation of things, I just see a guy who's running through life and, and I know that some of that is shit, man. It's not going to agree with some people's fucking morals and this, that, and the other. But I remember having my second baby, right? And whilst dealing with postpartum depression, yeah, I think you have to wait 12 weeks before you can do it again. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah the, the gap would have been 12 weeks. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And I had a partner, well, I have a partner who was dealing with postpartum depression yeah he was going through all of that and at that time that wasn't a sensible decision yeah and me who had been in a relationship where i'd always been unprotected i'd always just done certain things i personally made a mistake and the only reason because that mistake was so traumatic for me and because that mistake was such a horrible time that i will never forget Mm. yeah that is the only reason i know what i know now at 37 yeah, Max. Max, uh, one second, Max. Chloe, are you here? Hello? 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 What the? Chloe? That's glitching like crazy. We've got another agent in here. Chloe, you, you gone, yeah? All right, let me go, Chloe. But on that note, anyway, yeah, I've been, I'm starting to get pins and needles in my legs because I've been sat on the toilet the whole time. Trying to- <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toilet time and road, man. Yeah. So like, that's why you got some people here at Echo and that's how much I care about the conversation. God bless him. If you don't get his humour, you Wait, think he will now. You know what's mad? I, I, I seen him doing tactical mutes. I just didn't click. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better mute up, bro. Now listen, where, the, where, where else did you think Snow gets his sound effects from? <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, listen. Oh, bro. Listen, yo, like, the sooner you all get this, yeah, 331 years in the room, yeah, unless you're my peoples, unless you're my brethren, yeah, you can love me, hate me, whatever. I ain't even reading what you commented. <laughs> yo, listen, I'm going to go and wipe. <laughs> you got yourself, bro. Big old, big man. Thanks, I, hope you, I hope you use baby wipes. Uh, yo, uh, right, first thing, if you nearly caught me, then you nearly asked that question as I was leaving. That's dangerous, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do use baby wipes, right? But I don't use them before. Nah, you should. You should wash and wipe. Nah, yeah. listen, right, yeah. listen, I don't Water. want these people on I don't want these people on TikTok to get mad at me, yeah, because I've got one yet. Yeah. I'm ghetto but I have a good day. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um oh. so yeah, when I say that I go and wipe my ass, I mean I'm gonna wash it. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, that's enough information for tonight. 
Yo, yo, you're you welcome out, back round yo, here anytime. Mind the pun, you're all pushed for that. <laughs> <laughs> big up, man. Yo, yeah, big up, man. Ah, oh, he's funny still. <clears throat> uh, where are we? I mean, we do have Angel in here. Do you, would you like to come up, Angel, or, or are you happy to just chill to just make sure that there's no witch hunt around here? Listen, MJ, I'm gonna chill, so I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up, hey. Go on then, Dawn. I'm an old lady. I'm you got Dawn. You know Dawn. you're always welcome round here. I love you, MJ. Oh, thank you, my lovely. I love you too. I do love you. You're you you're one of my best creators. Oh, thank you, Donnie. I'm arse licking. <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of a brown tongue there, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you know, they do say to me, oh, you always come for the older generation, but Dawn, it's always been love around here between me and you, ain't it? Yes, it's always been love with That's me. That's right. So, it? Yeah. So I'm just, just the ones that just come for me with Vim and then I look and I think, bloody hell, you're old enough to be my nan. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're I respect my elders around here. Right? Leave me alone. But some of them are relentless. They bake you a lovely apple pie. <laughs> lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love apple pie as well. No custard, but yeah, apple pie, man. I'll have all the apple pies. A real homemade shepherd's pie. Oh, God, bloody hell. You're oh, spying me now, don't they? I'm spying you. <laughs> Make sure there's enough. I'm uh, pulling up a seat when, when he comes. <laughs> he's giving me his plus one. We're going to have to start doing some cook-offs and that, ain't we? We will. I'll I'm jealous, can I go? <laughs> Everybody, right. Dawn here, I hope you've got enough room for all of us. I have, darling, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't having no babies. <laughs> Dawn, you get out of here, will ya? <laughs> See you later, love you. See you later, oh, I love you, Dawn. See you later. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, she's quality. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this app. <laughs> she's wicked, man. She is, yeah, she's a legend. Why ain't others allowed in the box? The boxes are open. I'm seeking legal advice. Legal legal. Oh, okay. All right. Hey. So not right now. Okay. Well, now we understand that still. Obviously, no pressure around here and that. And obviously, I know that you're probably thinking, why surviving? It's not anything that deep. It's just that's what the lives are called. Yeah. You know. Um, I mean, I can send you, I can send it you after. I mean, all the other content creators do ask for a copy after. So, you know. Also, like people in the comments, not be rude and, and you know, you know, have a go at her and say all awful things to the girl. She's coming here and she's she's got just as much right as to, to be in here as anybody else. Any hate comments, much you already know what to do, innit? And she's we brave enough to come here and like, comment knowing there's people hating as well so no someone no. someone put laughing faces at the end of the day it's, we don't do that in here it's bare like little trolls in here we're all getting blocked block all these faceless accounts can you get rid of them all please have their opinions i'm just chilling no i appreciate that oh, Andrew. Yeah. like Obviously, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but there's a way to do it, innit? Like, do you know what I mean? We can be adults and we can be respectful. This is the thing, though. Obviously, I get it on this app and that everybody is different. And it will around there on this platform when we do live debates. Yeah, we're, we're, we're okay to have um, for and against, but we don't do the whole witch hunt thing and people's heads on a spike and that. We don't do that around here. Yeah.